Howdy, Sybil. No, no, you've got the wrong person. I mean Dame. I mean Dame person. Isn't Dame person that big chin puppet used to scare children? Oh, Sam! Max! Thank goodness it's you. I thought it was someone come to kill me. Yes, well... How's that new profession working out? Oh, Sam. The life of a professional witness isn't all courtroom theatrics and finger pointing. The Toy Mafia told me if I testified against them, they'd rub me out. They tried to buy you off with a Swedish massage? No, Max. I think they meant... Murder. So, are you going to testify? Unfortunately, I've discovered that I have too many principles not to. What lousy timing. Principles are pesky things. I hear they can be surgically removed now. Have you considered the possibility of staging your own death to throw the toy mafia off the scent? That would be dishonest. It would be a refutation of everything I stand for as a professional witness. Big payoffs? Graft? Corruption? The truth. You're a real antique, you know that? I mean in a good way. I've always liked antiques. Are you sure we can't talk you into faking your own death? I'm sure. You seem, understandably, a little tense. Maybe you should switch to decaf. What? Oh, yes. The coffee cup. I'm out of coffee, but I'm so nervous I keep trying to drink it anyway. It's funny how stress can reduce you to just a bundle of mindless reflexes. Is that what happened to me? Wouldn't it be wonderful to think so? We'll be back. I know you will. You're the only two I can trust. Ouch! Really? She should consider Guilt Slinger as her next profession. How can we kill Sybil without really killing her? Take her to a Michael Bay movie? I mean, here in the office. And actually appearing to die, not just wishing she was dead. Surprise her with tickets to a Michael Bay movie? She's so high-strung, the shock might make her faint. Hmm. Maybe we should ask Sybil to fake her death to help us. But what if the Toy Mafia is listening in? Or what if it's seen by the DA as aiding the Toy Mafia and she loses her job? You're right. If we're really her friends, we'll keep her ignorant of our true intentions. Deception and lies by omission. That's true friendship. I think I've had enough of you for the moment. Okay, but be sure to stock up for later. I don't think I can bring myself to actually shoot her. Maybe I could just wing her. Nah, I'd better not. Show me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. <laughs> you too? Hi, jerkbag. Trying to rent something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back, or I swear by my mother's bedspread, I'll shoot you both. Now, let's be reasonable, Leonard. We'll say the three of us got the sandwich back. Maybe the Toy Mafia will give you a reward. Hmm. Yeah, Leonard. Even though they know you're a cheating jerk bag, I'm sure they'll believe you. Good point, bunny-like thing. No dice, lassie. Oh, should I not have moved my lips when I thought that? Just relax, Leonard. Can I get you a refreshing beverage? Maybe a pillow? Move and you're a dead dog. Sam, has that flaccid old gambit ever worked? All those years of stewardess school don't disappear overnight, Max. You know, Leonard, little Jimmy Two-Teeth there cannot be trusted. He's 
still has our pepper grinder. Hey, I was gonna return it. Oh, so I should trust the two dopes who cheated me out of my fortune instead? Let's pretend it makes sense to say yes to that question. Look, I don't trust Jimmy any farther than I can throw him, but fortunately for me, I can throw him a country mile. Hey, what? You know what? We'll come back later. Sorry to intrude. Ciao. Don't you move. Then again... I don't know what to tell you, Leonard. I do, I do! Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No! Sick him, little buddy. I thought you'd never sick! Oof. Oh. 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 Okay, Leonard, are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is, or are we gonna have to get rough, er? Say rough! Say rough! I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me. Nothing. Does your mother know what you've become? Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. Is she the saint of sterno heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheating slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. You mean... That's right, Max. It's time to pull out the Yo Mama jokes. Yay! No, not that. Anything but that. Leonard, Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, she's so fat. Oh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the setups. Well then, Max, I think we'll have to break this two-bit varmin as a team. Follow my lead. Yo mama's so fat. She has more folds than an origami accordion. Oh, it's true. It's working. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay, making grown men weep. A fun pastime for the whole family. Yo mama's so punctual. She showed up early for her own funeral. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Yes, we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. Yo mama's so perky. The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. Oh, mama, make it stop. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Yeah. Yo mama's so radiant. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. <laughs> stop! Please, stop! This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's hit him one more time, Sam. Yo mama's so vulgar. Her mouth would make a longshoreman blush. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> I never even took the sandwich out of the casino. I hid it in the pride slot of the one-armed bandit and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? I got it right here. Thanks, jerkbag! How did we not notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We'd best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. See you around, sucker! Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? Hello there. What brings you to this neighborhood, Cuddly Bear? Mm -hmm. 
that would probably put a damper on our chances of getting into the Toy Mafia. Are you trying to deliver something? I am watching you! Hey, Bosco. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Uh, you are right. It is a Toy Mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. He will not sneak past me. Oh, no! The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. What if his Toy Mafia disguise is just a disguise? I gotta see what he's reading. Hmm. If he's pretending to read local news, he's CIA. If he's pretending to read international, he's CIA. Quick, Sam, while he's distracted. Right, I'll just drink Coleco's ghost. I'll get it. Thanks, little buddy. Mmm, comics. He may be Illuminati. When Bosco gets distracted, he really gets distracted. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Bulletproof. If he's pretending to do the word jumble, he's with the Knights of Malta. Special delivery. Yeah, eat pavement, camera. Hmm. The society pages must be skull and bones. Whee! He's pretending to read the gardening section, so it's true, he is Toy Mafia! I hope we don't lose Bosco's friendship over this. Me neither. He's my second favorite delusional paranoid. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! He's coming in! We're done for, y'all! I surrender! I surrender! Ah! I told you this would happen! I told you he would deliver, and he delivered! I can't believe that guy! Don't worry, Bosco. We'll help you purge this place of Mafia contraband just as soon as we solve this case we're so incredibly busy with. Oh yeah, you're real busy. You have done nothing but loiter around my store all day. What can we say? We love to loiter. So now we get to be toy mobsters, right? Not yet. Our journey to the dark side has just begun. Here, Bosco. We'll take these things off your hands for you. Don't you try to take something out of my store! But you just said... Don't you do it! They're evidence! Sybil wouldn't want us leaving her cup there. Could I get a grande ketchup macchiato with extra foam? You crack me up, little buddy. Who's joking? That camera seems to be bulletproof. If only there were some way to get rid of arbitrary items here in the store. Bosco's built one, of course. Irony is a sledgehammer, isn't it? Shall we shop? Let's do! Hey, wait a second. Why didn't B Taz part do work? Ah! My camera! Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> 